Okay, polynomials review. So we're going to recall like terms. These are terms that have the exact same variable component. So when we talk about variable, we talk about the letter that's on a number. Okay, so example x and 3x are like terms, and it's because both of them have exactly an x in them. Okay, as their variable. Now, collecting like terms, add the coefficients of the like terms and keep the variable the same. So, we have x plus 3x. Okay, when we see just an x, that implies that it's 1x. So, what we're doing is we're adding the 1 and the 3, and we get 4x. So, when we add polynomials, um, we just collect like terms. Now, when we subtract polynomials, what we're doing is we're basically taking that negative 1 beside the second polynomial, and we're going to expand it. So we're going to change all of the signs in the second polynomial, and then we're going to collect like terms. Okay, example one, add the following polynomials. So when there's an addition sign between two polynomials, what happens is we just simply drop the brackets. Nothing in that second polynomial changes. Okay, now we can collect like terms. 2m and 6m are like terms. We get 8m. 1 and negative 5 are like terms, we get negative 4. Okay, B. Again, this is a, a positive sign, a plus sign between these two trinomials. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just simply drop the brackets. Okay, here, instead of putting plus negative 2x squared, I'm actually just going to put minus 2x squared. Okay, now 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. 3x minus 2x is just x. And negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. Okay, now example 2, we're going to subtract the following polynomials. So like we said, when we subtract the, like, two polynomials, what we do is we apply the subtraction sign onto every single term in that second, say, polynomial. So there's an, technically an addition sign before the first binomial, so we can just drop the brackets and rewrite. Now, what we're doing is we're subtracting x squared. Okay, we're subtracting negative 8x, so this is actually plus 8x. Okay, it's almost like distribution law. Okay, and then we're subtracting positive 1, so it's just minus 1. Okay, now collect like terms, 9x squared uh, minus x squared, I get 8x squared. And 3x plus 8x, 8, 9, 10, 11x. And then we just have the negative 1. Okay, the negative 1 doesn't add to anything because there's no constant term in this bracket, and that's okay. So we just bring it down. Okay, and B, there's technically a positive sign in front of this bracket, so what we do is we just bring all of these terms down, okay, and we're going to apply this negative sign into this bracket, so negative 2r squared, negative 2rs, and then negative 3. And now what we can do is collect like terms, so negative r squared minus 2r squared, Okay, what numbers we're actually dealing with here are negative 1 and negative 2, which give us negative 3, r squared. Okay, minus 4rs, minus 2rs, we get negative 6rs. And positive 2, minus 3, we get negative 1. Now, multiplying polynomials. When we multiply polynomials, we, what we do is we multiply every term in the first bracket by every term, I'll underline that, in the second bracket. Okay, an example of this is distributive property. So if we have a monomial and then a binomial, we multiply A times B, and then we multiply A times C, which is here. Okay, or if we have two binomials, what happens if we multiply a times c and a times d, and then we multiply b times c and b times d? 
and that's how we expand. Okay, so example two, expand and collect like terms. So we're going to multiply this 8 into this bracket. Okay, the bracket stops here, so we stop applying the 8 here as well. Okay, so 8 times 2x is 16x. 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. Now we distribute this positive 3 into this bracket. So plus 3x and then plus 12. Now let's collect like terms. 16x plus 3x, we get 19x. Negative 40 plus 12, I get negative 28. So we get 19x minus 28. Okay, here's an example with binomials. x times x is x squared. x times 6 is 6x. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, so we get x squared plus 8x plus 12. We just collect those two like terms in the middle. Okay, so for this example, we actually have a squared on this bracket. So we're just going to carry down that negative 1. And I'm just going to rewrite 4x plus 5 twice. Okay, so my rule is do two at a time. So three things are actually multiplied right now. We have a negative 1. And then we have the two brackets. So I'm going to just bring down that negative 1. And I'm going to keep the expansion of these two brackets in another bracket. Okay? So 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 5 is 20x. 4x times 5 is 20x. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay? Now, we can either collect these like terms in here, or we can just go ahead and um, distribute the negative 1 into the bracket. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and collect the like terms first. So we're going to have negative 1 bracket 16x squared, 20x plus 20x is 40x, and then plus 25. Okay, and let's distribute this negative 1 into the bracket. We're left with negative 16x squared minus 40x, minus 25. Okay, D gets a little bit more complicated. I just want to expose you to a but like an array of questions so that you're, uh, you recall them. So I'm going to bring this 5 down, and I'm going to bring this big boxy bracket down as well. Okay, so inside this boxy bracket, we have x plus 10, and we can just drop the bracket there. And then we're going to distribute this negative 9 into this bracket. So negative 9 times 9x is negative 81x. Negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. Okay, let's make this bracket a little bit nicer. So keep these brackets. And we have x minus 81x. So you get negative 80x. And then um, 10 plus 9, I get plus 19. Okay, and now at this point, we can distribute the 5 into the bracket. So 5 times 80 is 400. So we get negative 400x. And then 5 times 19, we get plus 95.